in the suspect's automobile, specifically a piece of metal pipe that was later found to have blood and hair follicles on it, positively identified as belonging to the victim, Cynthia Gianelli. When the police officers pulled Mr. Santiago and Mr. Gorman over, they believed there was an outstanding warrant on Mr. Santiago for disorderly conduct. Because of that, they arrested Mr. Santiago and impounded his car. Later, at an impound inventory, the piece of metal pipe with the victim's blood on it was discovered in the trunk of the car. Unfortunately, it turned out that the disorderly conduct warrant had been vacated the previous week. But due to a clerical error, this information failed to turn up on the police department record. As a result, in the eyes of the law, the police officers had no legal reason for stopping Mr. Santiago and Mr. Gorman. Therefore, the evidence found in Mr. Santiago's car is inadmissible. Furthermore, the signed confessions of the defendants, which were a direct result of the evidence, are also inadmissible. Your Honor, that evidence and those confessions are pivotal to the prosecution. Without them, we have no case. Oh my God. I understand that, Mr. Solares. As much as the thought of releasing these two men into society sickens me, there's nothing I can do. I have to dismiss all charges against the defendants. Uh, please, wait a minute. You can't do that. My wife's in a coma because of what they did to her. They raped her. They beat her with a steel pipe. She's seven months pregnant, for God's sake. You can't just let them walk away. I'm sorry, Mr. Gianelli, but the law is very clear on this point. There's nothing I can do. Damn you! Just chill out, man. You can't touch us. I'm gonna kill you! Mr. Gianelli! something on his mind, isn't it? Hey, hey, Max. Look, my tank is running low, man. I need a refill. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Ten minutes. Ten. Be there. Here we go. We can get a better look over the park. Going in.
Sake, don't ruin your life. Hey man, hey, help me, man. Hey. Killing him is not going to accomplish anything. It'll give me peace. No, it won't give you peace. Believe me, I hunted down the men who murdered my family, and I killed them, and I kept killing them, and I told. Listen to me. And I told myself what, what I was doing was right, what was just, and I tried to believe it. I thought it would get easy, but it didn't. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't forget. I wanted to believe they weren't human. But when they died, I saw the horror in their faces and the pain. I always remember the eyes. Godla. Godla, move. Move, move, move. Godla. Godla, get out of my way. Hey, hey, look, give me some money. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Pull his head off. If you want to kill somebody, kill me. Come on, get out of my way. Hey, yeah, look, I need this. I'm gonna shoot him, man. Ow. Hey, don't... Let him go. Hey, don't be a jerk. Kill me. Get away. Man, I got... Cosmo, move! No, look, I don't want to do this, don't! Kill me! Ah! 